everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm thrilled to take you along for a daytime adventure at the stunning Sula Vineyard. From panoramic views to exquisite wines, welcome to the daytime charm of Color. So by looking at the color, you know what 
bottle of wine variety you are consuming. Second is to check the clearing. If any sediments or any hazards you notice, that means your wine is spoiled. And third, for the sparking, you should check the bubbles. The bubbles for the sparking should be small, small and delicate. If the bubbles are too big, that means the wine is served at a wrong temperature. It might be the external carbonation also. Now this is the sparkling, you can see I'm going to skip the second part, swirling part. Never swirl sparkling, how to get this in here. Not to swirl the wine. Now take a sip. One thing you notice about the wine that this is not a sparkling one. No bubbles are there. So now you can swirl the wine. Why we swirl it? So it comes into contact with the oxygen. Wine becomes aromatic and free. So swirl the wine and take a sip. You get the free. So let me know. When you sip the wine, you get the free taste from your palate. Uh, like a lemonade flavor you get from the wine. Alcohol, this is 13% alcohol. When you sip it, you feel like, you feel like your uh, like mouth is getting watery. Right? That's the acidic content present in Now, as after that, this wine goes smoothly and gives you a buttery finish. You can pair the wine. This one nice, like they are more acidic by the like sparkling. Mm -hmm. so you get more of the fruity aromas from this one. When you serve it, you get a prominent citrusy notes on your palate. After taste of the wine, will be similar, like some peach, some tropical flavors you get from the wine. It's a more refreshing and enlightening wine. Alcohol in this is 12.5% alcohol the wine has. The source granache shows. <coughs> Serving your glass quickly, serve uh, swirl it because red wine take your time to get open and become aromatic and flavory. So swirl it and take a sniff. You get the woody and varied taste from this one. Like a blackberry, blackcurrant, something. Now different similar aromas you get from the wine. This barrel is for 15 to 16 months. So when you sniff this wine. The first notes you will get from this wine is the oak wood smell and some smoky aromas you get from the wine. This wine gives you some spicy and some fruity notes like the olives, black currant. After the taste of the wine, you will get similar like a dark red wine for of some little chill temperature. But when you open a bottle of red wine, keep it in the fridge that prevents the oxidation. As a desert of wet desert, a smooth going wine gives you a aromas of ripe and fruitage like a mango, some pineapple, brazils, honey coke. It's a natural sweetness, nothing external added sweetness. You can say this wine is made from the resin of the shedding. 